brain tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft have also started rolling out their first dev channel flight for 2023, build 25272, which they made available on the 5th of January as well. Now, um, the dev channel, as many of you would know, is where Microsoft does start testing um, new features and experimenting on new features, which although not guaranteed, could possibly roll out to an up and coming stable version. So um, if you are interested, just to take a quick look at some new changes and improvements that Microsoft made available for this week. Now, the first is exactly the same as I did post on earlier today for the beta channel, where uh, Microsoft have moved the Quick Assist out of the Windows tools. And just to do a quick recap, the Quick Assist app is a remote assistance app that um, can be used to help solve another person's um, computer problems remotely. So the Quick Assist app um, being moved from the Windows tools. So now it displays directly in the all apps list uh, in the start menu, which as I did mention um, earlier is I think a move in the right direction. Now um, for the next two changes, we're just going to head over to some screenshots. And both these next uh, changes, uh, these two next changes did roll out um, last year with dev channel build 25247. And um, Microsoft now, according to uh, insiders who gave them feedback, have now decided to remove uh, these next uh, features. And the first is uh, they've removed the suggested action for searching copy text in Microsoft Edge. As we can see, that's now been removed. And the next was um, they've removed the common websites um, on, the on the recommended section in the start menu. And as mentioned, that was according to uh, insiders who gave feedback. And I can't say I, I am unhappy to see the deprecation of those two features, as I personally didn't think they would bring too much and benefit to the Windows operating system. So those are no longer. Now heading to another screenshot. Um, this is the last screenshot, but this is an interesting one because this is actually another hidden feature, which once again was spotted by the Windows enthusiast Phantom of Earth, where... Um, Microsoft seems to be experimenting with adding a gallery uh, entry alongside Home and OneDrive uh, in the left-hand navigation pane in the File Explorer, which is now showing at this stage the contents of the Pictures folder as of now. So um, this is a hidden feature, and um, the hidden features, as many of you may know, are features that Microsoft could be testing internally and working on internally. And they have not mentioned uh, this hidden feature in the release notes officially or recognized it officially. And it is possible, like I have posted with previous hidden features, that Microsoft could officially start testing this feature. And if everything, if anything does change in the future, I will obviously post and let you know accordingly. But um, a new gallery now being tested um, in the File Explorer, which at this stage is exactly the same as pictures. So it's going to be interesting to see if Microsoft does take this a bit further and bring some new improvements to a new gallery, which we could uh, get in the File Explorer. Now for the next two changes, um, we're just going to head over to the release notes as it'll just make it a lot easier. And Microsoft says here that starting with build 25267, uh, which was a previous build, the inbox version of Windows subsystem for Linux, WSL, has been removed. And when you install a build with this change, if you you're a WSL user, you will need to update to the latest WSL version outlined here in this GitHub post, which, and by the way, I'll leave a link to these release notes in the description if you'd like more information. And then you can also click on this link if you would like uh, to um, update to the latest WSL version. And that, Microsoft says, is to ensure WSL continues working on your PC. And then once you have done that, WSL will continue to work um, on subsequent build updates. Uh, in future builds, they're looking to have this done automatically. So that's a WSL change. And then a printing change, they've added a refresh button to the Windows Print Queue. And then over and above that, um, as mentioned, we get fixes and general improvements to different components of the operating system in build 25272. And then we get a whole lot of known issues, which is quite common in the dev channel as it is still early days with a lot of bugs. And as mentioned, I will leave uh, these release notes in the description if you would be interested. So that's it for this week. Build 25272 now rolling out to the Dev Channel Insiders. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.